money, 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 money. You know, a lot of people, all they think about what drives their decisions is money, the ultimate dollar. I mean, to the point where some worship it. At what level does money drive you? Does money rule you? Does money make your decisions for you in terms of you buy it because of a certain price or how much it costs or how much you're going to make or what the opportunity promises or what the job salary price is? If, if money is your first decision-making filter, I'm going to suggest to you that you consider that that may not be the best way to go. Hi, Trudy Behrman here of TrudyBehrman.com, host of Debt Free Wealth Radio, CEO of Profitable Stewardship Inc. And in a nutshell, I teach biblical financial strategies to Christian income earners. Now, the thing is that money is so important and is a driving decision process and filter for so many, including Christians, that the Bible talks about it numerous times. But I want to pr propose to you that Proverbs 22 verse 1 suggests that before wealth, gold, and silver, Christians should be pursuing a good reputation and a good self-esteem. Now, this esteem is how others hold you, if they hold you in high esteem, but also how you hold yourself. And I'm going to even suggest that that comes before the money. And if you pursue the good reputation, if you pursue an, a, a proper and, and high value image of yourself, which you portray to the world, which helps them to also view you just as highly, that that will come before and proceed and bring with it the wealth, the silver and the gold. I'm going to suggest that very strongly to you for you to reconsider your filter through the world. And I hope you are not filtering your decisions through the filter of money. Trudy Behrman here. I am super simple to find. Listen, somewhere on this page is going to be an opportunity for you to connect with me. There may be some um, incentive offer as well, you know, in exchange for your name and email. But I'm going to encourage you, if you're a Christian income earner, to rise above what money has to offer and seek first to become a profitable steward. This is the next higher level up, guys. Because if you understand that God owns everything and we're simply a steward of it and how we're basically ambassadors of God, God in this space, then how the world sees us, how we view ourselves in relationship to God is huge. And I'm going to invite you to consider that next level up. Trudy Behrman here. I'm super simple to find at trudybehrman.com. And I look forward to connecting with you. And I